Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and this is a pretty little piece that I did quite a while ago. So I'm going to try really hard to remember what I did. So it's, I think, a 14 by 14 inch canvas. I flooded it with my white uh, paint, and I think I used the Artist Loft Flow Acrylics, not my usual white house paint. I diluted it with Floetrol and some water, and now I'm layering on some colors. And I'm pretty certain that I used the Modern Masters Nickel, the Modern Masters Ferro Gold, uh, some black, and I think the white that I put on here is a mix done with satin enamel by Americana Decor. Uh, I do have some white satin enamel. Um, and so I'm playing with uh, my palette knife, of course, doing some pretty smears. And I'm going to stretch it out a little bit and just see if I can create a pretty minimalist uh, painting. And I want to see how the satin enamel works. I've never had a lot of luck with it. So uh, this is again just an experiment. It did turn out to be quite pretty and it dried beautifully. So far it's looking really quite lovely. I love the softness that the satin enamel has created, the little bit of ghosting. Uh, you can see the colors have uh, sort of are sitting under the satin enamel where it's spread. So I'm going to take my palette knife and I'm going to draw some more interesting lines through, pulling the paint around uh, and trying to get a, a pleasing composition. And 
And I'm looking at this composition and I, I see that I need a focal point. I need something that's going to uh, get your attention that's positioned in such a manner. You want your eye to move around the canvas. Uh, and, you know, lovely and soft as it is, I felt I needed something a little bolder to sort of guide your eye. So I've added some of the nickel and more of the gold and I'm just going to keep playing with the palette knife and uh, it turns out to be actually a pretty uh, golden bird but uh, I think this just adds to uh, the composition. The, like, the eye wants some place to be to be looking and uh, I think this adding this color in uh, has created that. Tilting the canvas a bit can help the paint to move and create some really lovely, graceful lines. There's a, a really nice curve to uh, these ribbons of paint that I've added, and they're just more pleasing to my eye and uh, opens up the colors a little bit as well. I now see quite clearly the shape of a really beautiful golden swan, a very exotic looking bird. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to do some more schmears and draw out some lines that will enhance the shape of this pretty bird. Um, I don't know what it is, but birds often appear in my paintings and I don't mind that at all. This one is actually very handsome.
So this is the painting wet and look at the dried results. That gold is quite intense. Actually, it's very effective. Uh, it is the one of the things that stands out in this painting and uh, it has quite a glow. So uh, let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. Thanks again for coming along. Thank you for all your kind support, comments and likes. Uh, and if you try something new, you know, please give me a shout out. I'd love to see what you're doing. Take care. Thank you. Bye.